Hello, my beautiful people from Otoshebo Mama. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Please do not forget to subscribe and press the notification button. Thank you. One love. Bye bye. I have a message for all Christians. A Christian sister asked me a question. And what is her question? She wants to know why people are insulting pastors on social media. According to her, her heart bleeds anytime she reads comments and sees the way people are disrespecting these pastors that are supposed to be respected. And she seriously needs answers to the question. My sister, I will give you answers to the best of my knowledge. But let me briefly say this. My beloved Christians that have been sitting down at home ever since this coronavirus pandemic started. How strong is your relationship with God now? Since you have stopped going to church for the past two to three weeks, getting to a month. Are you still feeling the presence of God around you? I'm asking the Christians and I need answers. Now, my sister, let me answer you. The reason people are insulting your pastors on social media is because your pastors do not practice what they preach. Your pastors are not living the life of Christ. And you should also understand that there are difference between pastors and men of God, a man of God, a man called by God. And the people you should be respecting today is a man called by God and that's your friend that is insulting that pastor. Should I tell you why you should hug that your friend that is insulting the pastor? Because your friend is seeing the light. You are only seeing darkness. The moment you come out from the bondage you are in, you will understand what your friend is doing. You are still under a cage. You are still in a cage. You are still mentally enslaved. The, time you co the, the moment you come out from that problem you are in, you will know that your friend is doing you a favor by helping you to insult some pastors or the pastors. Now, your pastors will give you tracts and tell you to hang it on the door while he moves around with army, police, navy, SSS, DSS, and soldiers and leave you at the mercy of that little tract. That is why people are not taking your pastors seriously. And even though people are still insulting pastors, there are some men of God, anyway, I've already differentiated them. There are some men of God you cannot insult. When you see them, you see a pure reflection of Christ in them. Your pastors are not humble. They are proud. They are arrogant. They see themselves as demigod. That is why they can never be respected. Look at the way they display on social media. They behave like Tao Tanaburu. Who sees somebody like that and, re and respect the person? Nobody. The reason your pastors are not respected is because your pastors have turned the churches, your, the so-called churches, to a business center. The church is now profit-oriented. That is why they don't take them seriously. They see them and politicians as five and six. And they see the politicians and the pastors as the major problem they are facing in Nigeria. And they see that your pastors are capitalizing on the problem of Nigeria to use it against you. Now, your pastor is selling oil of Galilee for 5,000, water of Beersheba for 10,000, and also handkerchief for miracle. What is the significance of those things? When Jesus Christ was on earth, Christians, was there a time he sold oil and water to do healing? People are disrespecting your pastors because your pastors are entertainers. They now do show in their churches. Every pastor wants to raise the dead. Every pastor wants to do a miracle. Every pastor wants to heal the sick. When last did you go to church and your pastor is talking about salvation? Telling you where your soul is going to. It's not happening again. They are only preaching prosperity, soul seed, offering and tithes to your tent or Israel, everybody goes. That is why they are disrespecting your pastors. They are disrespecting your pastors because the pastor will tell you, come as you are. That is why you will go to church and see naked women dressing half naked. Even the pastor wife is sitting down like a Jezebel. The ones that call themselves female pastors are painting their faces, painting their mouth. They are like queen of the coast, sitting down. And you are saying that these people should be respected. No. 
anybody that is, is insulting pastors like this, go and hug the person. Give the, in fact, you need to dash the person money. I, I say it. My name is Lisa. I am saying it. The reason your pastors are not respected is because when your pastor is praying for a Yahoo Yahoo boy to go outside the country and scam a white man and a white woman, why should they be respected? Are you now seeing the reason why people are not respecting your pastors? Most of you are just going to church to be shouting, ride on pastor, ride on pastor. You don't know any other thing. Most of you are not even supposed to be going to church because your life is so dirty. Most people that are pagans and atheists are living a better life more than you that claim you are Christian. Are you now understanding what is happening? That is why people are disrespecting your pastors. And your pastors are telling you that men are scarce. Men are not actually scarce. They tell you that God will give you your own husband. Because Nigeria is not giving the youth jobs, that is why your husbands are not coming. Do you understand that they are using the deplorable state of Nigeria to take money and extort money from you? You are now going to church to be entertained, not to do what? Hear the word of God. That is why most of you that are missing church today is just because you want to go and show the kind of clothes you are wearing. Most of your pastors are as good as, um, as good as just motivational speakers. They are not called by God. So try to differentiate them. People are insulting your pastors because most of them are upgraded native doctors. Are you now understanding it? I have a lot to say, but I have to stop here so that you can also contribute yours. But let me summarize by saying, after this coronavirus pandemic, if the church you are going to now is not helping your spiritual life, if you notice you are not growing in Christ, don't go to that church any longer. Stop. These are the churches you, you should be avoiding. These churches are the ones you should be avoiding in this year 2020 to help you. Any church that you are going to and you are carrying POS around, stop going to that church. Scam a lot. The house of God should not be a place for business transaction. Your church should not be a bank. Do not go to a church where they are using POS to pay tithe and offering, including soul seed. Any church that is not preaching salvation, sanctification, run away from such church. Because the Bible said, it's appointed unto man to die once after with judgment. If your pastor is not telling you where you will spend your eternity, your pastor is a robber of your soul. He wants to rob you from your blessings. And that is going to heaven. I know you will not believe me because I don't look like your pastor. You will not take my word because I am not arrogant like the, the, the pastor that you are going to his church. But do not say I do not want you. I don't even blame the pastors. I blame the people going to the churches. Because somebody will see that this is a pure native doctor and a ritualist. And he, he or she will continue going to the church to the extent of defending the pastor and even insulting you. Any pastor that stands on the pulpit of God and talks about money. Say, who will bring $1,000? Who will bring $500,000? Who will bring... That pastor is a scam. The person is not called by God. I stand to be corrected. Run away from such people. So, you have seen the kind of churches you should not be going to. For your soul. That is why the psalmist said, have you counted the cost if your soul should be lost? If they don't tell you about sanctification, run away from such churches. Go to a living church where your life will grow. There is no repentance in the grave. The best thing you will do for yourself is to save my video. Don't say, I did not warn you. Continue going to church because of miracle husband, miracle money, miracle cars, miracle houses. You will leave all those things and you will go and account for your soul. That is the, the level I can say for now.